Hello, I'm AC and today I'm going to try and restart a tradition where it was Space Toads, actually. Every once in a while Space Toad made videos which showcased the latest features in Buildcraft. And now that I have a bit more time and I'm actually spending more time adding new features than just fixing things, I'd like to show you a development log of what we've done so far for Buildcraft 7.1. The first thing I'd like to show you is this. Wait, you might be thinking, this isn't new. It isn't. It's the good old clay insertion pipes. I just like to remind you very quickly how they work. Whoops. So as you know, a clay insertion pipe will always prioritize a machine. So if you give it stone, it will insert it into the stone barrel because it has space for stone. The other ones don't. And if you insert a whole lot of it, it will keep inserting to that barrel. And you can also try, for instance, cold ore in the same manner. Or wood, and they will all find the first inventory which can, which can be filled by them. Now, I've brought a similar logic to the fluids with the clay fluid pipe, or the clay fluid insertion pipe. I don't know how I want to call it. What it does is very much the same thing, except for fluids. So it will find the first tank you want to insert into, like this one. And it will keep inserting to it as long as it can accept water. For instance, if we try to insert fuel, it won't go into the first tank because it can't fit there. It will go into the second tank where there is space for it. Same with water. If the water tank gets full, it will find the next one which can accept water. It's really nice. Um, I hesitated on adding it because I couldn't find a use case. But I think a few months ago on the FTB subreddit, someone posted one which this would work for very well. And that's when the decision was made. The second new feature also needs a bit of backstory. There are two main ways of powering a wooden transport line. You can use the redstone engine, which is fairly cheap. The problem of the redstone engine is that it's fairly slow. It extracts items at a very slow rate. You can, of course, create a centipede of redstone engines, but that takes a lot of space and isn't easy to control. The next step is you could use a Stirling engine, which is a bit more expensive and requires real fuel. However, what even one Stirling engine gives is far too much for a single transport pipe. It's far too much and the energy is essentially wasted. Another thing you can do is use an autarch gate and uh, energy pulsar action. And those are great, they provide a lot of flexibility. However, they're pretty expensive. You need an integration table, you need an assembly table, chipsets, pipe wires, lasers, a lot of fancy things. So I thought, mm, maybe it would be a good idea if you could take the Stirling engine and use something to split its energy, and thus the power adapter was made. It's fairly cheap to craft, you get four of these out of six structure pipes, and structure pipes have a new recipe as well, which is a bit cheaper. It doesn't require as much gravel, and as all Tinker's Construct users know, gravel isn't always the cheapest thing to find, especially in Vanla. So here you can see five transport pipes hooked up to five power adapters, which have energy provided by a single Stirling engine. Let's give it some coal. It's working, and as you can see, the energy is being transferred, and the items are being pumped out at a fairly fast rate as well to those void pipes. And this, of course, uses the beautiful stained pipes for making it look even better in practice. I love stained pipes. They look nice and they're a great way of separating things. The next thing I'd like to show you is something that all we've also already had. We've also already had like the clay insertion pipes. The list. The list was added by Space Toad in Buildcraft 6, but it suffered from a lot of issues and to me it always felt more like a generic I want to filter by or dictionary and metadata kind of thing. So I tried to improve it a little bit. 
this is the list. One thing that hasn't changed, you can name them. You can say AC's list and it will be named. What you can do, however, is you can insert items, such as, I know, a block of iron, maybe an iron ingot, maybe a water can. You can insert all of these. What you can also do is insert something that's a bit more involved. Let's try a diamond shell in survival. We need to give it some damage. And you can insert a diamond shovel which has some damage on it. Then you can press this button, which is P for precise. And then it will take into account damage. It will only allow shovels with this amount of damage or perhaps undamaged shovels. Mm, you can also use NBT data in this manner. But the real exciting feature is the two other buttons. This one sorts items by type and this one sorts items by material. So if we insert a block of iron and we sort by material, we will get everything that's made out of iron. So iron ore, iron gears, nuggets, iron chips, it's the whole lot. And the order is always random. This is so that you can see if there's more items in the list. Another thing you can do is you can take an iron gear, for instance, and you can sort by type. Which means a wood gear, a copper gear, everything that's a gear, essentially. A gear. Yeah, a gear. Uh, or you can use ingots for this. Uh, bricks are ingots in our dictionary for some reason. Don't ask me why. What you can also do is you can use liquids. For instance, you can use a fuel bucket and sort by type. This means every fluid container which has some fuel in it will be listed. And obviously by material, you will see every bucket type. Every All buckets, no matter what they have in it, if it's a bucket, it will go in that direction. Now, the way you can use lists is generally you can use a diamond transport pipe and instead of putting just items in there, you can put in lists like this, and it will actually take the list into account. You can also use it on gates for controlling robots, but that's another story. And the last thing I want to show you today is some improvements to the pipe wires. As you might know, the pipe wires used to be fairly laggy, like in an unpredictable manner. For instance, for this part, it could go instantaneously and then be like tick, 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 tick. This isn't good for rapidly transfer transferring information, so for Buildcraft 7.1 we finally fixed it. Boom. Instant. It's as if nothing even happened. Alright, I think I cannot provide a proper recording environment, sorry for the little jump cut. That's all I wanted to show you. I hope that uh, you will find the features interesting. I personally think that some of them might change the way a lot of builds are made and designed. I hope you'll have a lot of fun of them. Mm, I will try to release the first Buildcraft 7.1 beta soon because we need to test out the lists. So get excited. See you.